Hi there everyone, Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It is currently the 21st of January 2011. I do want to say Happy Chinese New Year to everybody out here that celebrates that. And that's actually what we're going to talk about today is how this is going to affect your travel plans out here. Actually in much of China you're seeing a low pressure area moving across the region today. That's going to actually be producing rain and snow showers out there and also extending all the way over towards Japan basically extending across the same trough of low pressure. You're also seeing another area of low pressure bring even more snowfall actually out here. Tokyo just saw yesterday the first snowfall of this year and also about the first type of precipitation in nearly a month out here. And lastly at the end of the episode we're going to be talking about an area of low pressure developing here just south of Plow. It doesn't look like it's going to remain very organized but could bring some increased rainfall out there towards much of Inmind now. But first I want to pull up the surface chart here produced by KMA. And all of that cloud cover and precipitation I was just talking about here it really is clearly indicated on this surface analysis just showing heavy rainfall here across much of Japan. Snowfall off here towards Hokkaido and across the western side of it here. Have heavy rainfall extending across southern Korea and all the way over towards China where you're having very cold air actually push here towards the south and out along the leading edge of that. Some snowfall being reported here across much of eastern China once you get towards the south around uh, the southeastern China and even out towards Hong Kong. You're getting some really significant cloud cover and also some drizzle precipitation here. So really not the most favorable weather for anybody having travel plans out here and also do want to note as this high continues to push towards the south is going to be bringing absolutely bitter temperatures. These temperatures are in Fahrenheit. I do want to mention that, but just remember 32 degrees is approximately 0 degrees on Celsius scale. Or actually, it is 0 degrees on Celsius scale. So you're seeing about freezing temperatures here extending right at that leading edge of that snowfall. So therefore, it's likely going to be in the form of a wet snowfall and not really the great for driving because it ended end up being more of a slushy type snowfall. Actually, extending out here towards Japan, you're definitely seeing temperatures below freezing. But look at this all the way up here around Ulaanbaatar out in Mongolia. Negative 30 into the negative 40s. That's on the Fahrenheit scale. Absolutely freezing out there. Once you get down towards the south though in the tropics, especially around Indochina all the way out towards Thailand and even over towards uh, Philippines here, you're still seeing those warm temperatures. This is about the equivalent of the high 20s to low 30s out there. But along that leading edge of that cold air, as I already mentioned, you are seeing that rainfall and we already indicated that on the surface analysis, we can further indicate it on the radar imagery out of China where you are seeing these areas of greens here and even some areas of yellow associated with these heavy rain showers and snow showers pushing off here towards the east. Well, like I noted earlier, this is all an extension of that large trough of low pressure along the leading edge of this high pressure. And if we look out towards the JMA rate, this is also showing widespread rain showers extending across much of the country as well today. As I already noted, though, once you get out here, basically across northern Kanto Plain and on the western sides of Tokyo, or excuse me, on the western sides of Hanshu here, all the way up towards Okano, you are seeing those snow showers as well. And they can be very heavy and pretty gusty winds at times as well. So it's going to create a hazard with blowing snow so anybody who plans on going out this weekend definitely be careful and safe there if you plan on driving in these areas affected by this heavy snowfall. So let's look at this model outlook now. At first, in the beginning of this update, I did talk about that area of convection just southeast of Mindanao here. Well, if we look at the models over the next several days, it does show that convection continuing to push off towards the west. And actually, we steer away very quickly from this model outlook. And look at this vorticity analysis by the University of Wisconsin. You can see that positive vorticity there south of Palau. Well, if this convection does not remain organized overall, though that vorticity still likely is going to push off towards the northwest. And with that, you're going to have enhanced afternoon thunderstorms. Therefore, if the models aren't even picking up on a very significant system out here, just remember that localized features still can be affecting the rainfall out there, and that's also going to produce still the potential for localized flash floodings. But let's look out into Sunday here. You see that area of low pressure moving off Japan. You still have those lingering snow showers across much of China, but those are actually going to start to push towards the south by the Chinese New Year, and then you're going to be having even increased rainfall here across southeastern China, extending over towards Taiwan as that high pressure pushes towards the south, developing low actually going to start popping off there out into the midweek and then that's actually going to move off towards Japan once again with even more rainfall expected by the latter part of the week across that country as well and also snow showers out there but all really the Siberian high is the dominating feature out here and just those areas of low pressures running along just along the southern periphery but that is all for right now everybody please if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always post them in the comment box below and as always as well stay safe out there everybody I hope you have a great weekend and a great new year coming up here as well have a great day. Bye.